Welcome back to Budget Stuff, Save, Repeat. I'm Melissa. I am so excited. Um, we are going to be starting our mini savings challenges. Yes. Okay, so if you remember, if you've been here before, um, and thank you if you're new, um, last year I did 112 mini savings challenges and I stuffed them into a photo album. Um, I filled up the photo album. It was so thrilling. It was so much fun. And I saved a total of $5,825. So I just want to keep in that spirit of saving small amounts and seeing what it will add up to for the next year. And that money, whatever we save in our minis, we will put them towards our purpose funds. Um, when I finish my... When I finished my um, photo album and it had the $5,825, I couldn't really give you guys a breakdown of where the money was going because me and my husband just hadn't done the budget quite that far like to assign it. Um, but since then, we have made some decisions. Um, we've also pulled out our $5,000 for dependent care. That is um, if you have young children and they go to daycare or before and after care or summer camp, it is a benefit that the government gives that they will take the money out your pay every two weeks and the limit is $5,000. And so um, what I do is I put my kids before and after care and summer camp on our budget. So I pay it every month, but I only put in one claim for my dependent care and I do that in December and I take the whole amount out at one time. I figured that's a nice way to have a lump sum of money. Um, and so that $5,000 is, you know, pulled out in December. We save for furniture. It was $1,945 last year and we saved for vacation and our um, binders and that was $2,020. So that's a total of $14,790. Um, so what we like to do is we do have a car maintenance fund um, one of our purpose funds. So we like to keep that number at um, 5,000, but I got a Tesla, so it shouldn't need maintenance. So we dropped it down to 3,000. My husband still drives a car with an engine. So um, we only needed to add 1,900 to that account. Furniture and vacation, we kept in there, like what was in the envelopes are still in the envelopes. Um, family fun, we just went and added um, $105. I also did things like um, on Black Friday, I took advantage of gift card um, sales for like the movie theaters. Um, we have a bouncy house around here that their gift cards were 50% off. I bought that stuff last year so that we just have gift cards when we wanna do something on a rainy day. Um, date night, I said 300. That's not going to be for the whole year, but at least to get us started is something in the account. Um, Valentine's Day, $200. And that's just so we can get the kids um, classes, those little, you know, Valentine's Day cards, a little something small for the teachers. Um, Easter, 100. Mother's Day and Father's Day, 150. Um, and there was some left over, so we didn't have to put as much in. Um, back to school, we said 500 birthday 600 school pop up 300 play dates 200 our pet we said 500 um, we do beach days in the summertime 300 and in savings we just did the rest which is five thousand six hundred and seventy dollars so i just looked at it this way if i take out vacation and um furniture and i take out savings um our purpose funds were $5,155. So that is kind of my goal every year is to save $5,000. Um, if we can, if we fall short, just being able to do some of these is still a great big help. Um, so that is the whole purpose of my minis. I save um, not knowing exactly in the beginning where they're going to go, but I do want to have a lump sum that I can allocate over the year for 2025. So this year, I'm not doing a um, photo album. I'm doing monthly minis and literally monthly. So I went and found um, monthly challenges January through December or something that had a theme for 2024 and I'm just going to complete those I found this accordion um, like 
folder on Amazon that I really like. It comes with 12 slots. Um, and so I lay, you know, January through December. So as I complete the channel, um, challenges, I will put them in their respective months. And then for the 13th slot, which is in the beginning, I will do any that were not specifically monthly. So I am super, super, super excited about this. Um, I think we can save maybe not as much, but we may save between the four and $5,000 again this year. And so I'm ready to jump into this. Today, we are going to be stuffing 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So that's 390. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the $400 we will be stuffing into this, um, into this envelope or into these envelopes. So the first challenge I got from as a freebie from Spice Budget, it says, hello, January. So it's for $70 and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this one off. Not all my challenges will be finished each um, time I stuff, but this one, um, if it's specifically for the month, that is my goal is to stuff it away. So, all my completed challenges I will put here because they will all go into January. I will, re I will replace this one for next month with Love Day. I know it's not a February, but Valentine's Day is in February. And I got this one from Jesse Budgets. I absolutely adore that. Okay, so this one is from Fiona. Fagality is life. Um, this one says save 20 and 24 in 2024. So that's a total of $44. So we'll do January and save $44 into this, um, into this challenge. So I hope, you know, it's midway um, January. We are off to a great start. We are knocking on the door for February. Have you guys picked out your challenges? Are you rolling in them? I've seen a lot of goals. I've seen a lot of um, even holiday sp um, savings, which I absolutely love. But yeah, it's just, I know we could just save the way we keep saving. It's just, I'm just trying to find new and different ways just to make it a little bit more exciting for myself. So that's 40 two and 44 and we'll go ahead and keep this one going until we finish um this tracker so this one only goes up to april and we'll um get the other set it came with all 12 months um this one i got from budget save share angie and she says new beginnings happen in january um the ones total 31 dollars so I'm going to put $31 in here and we will complete this challenge today. That was so much fun to color. It um, The border is nice and thick so I didn't have to be super neat and I will love watching that back sped up. So we will continue with um, her February challenge. Thank you, Angie. All right, so this was super fun. I got this one from Budgeting with Jenny, and this is every Friday that is in um, 2024. So she just took the date from every Friday, and that's how much you save. So this one totaled, I think it said $62. Let me just, because now I'm not remembering. 26 plus 19 plus 17 equals 62 yes so 62 dollars for this one 62 so i just thought that was um that was definitely a fun way to save every friday whatever the date is that's how much you save you could pick any day um but um so yeah we're going to save 62 and this one will just keep going throughout the year And now purpose funds don't cover everything. There are gonna be pop-ups, things that I am forgetting about, but this is just really to have a nice little start. Um, and if I need to use the money for something else, it's nice just to have it around. 
So this one I got from a happy kid <laughs> off of um, Etsy. And this is for $50. It's a January one. And we will just go ahead and complete this one. $50 to complete that one. We will do the January, I mean the February one next month. Okay, so this is another um, 20, 2024 savings challenges where they break it down. So in, ja um, in January, it's a total of $50. So we'll go ahead and mark this off. And the good thing is if you wanted to do these weekly, you could do this one week at a time. So $15 and $12 and $4 and $9. But I only want to do my monthlies monthly. So <laughs> I'm just going to stick the $50 in there. And next month we'll do February. And that was from Rock's Budgets. All right. So then this one I got from GP Odds and Ends, Jessica. And um, I'm going to make, she said, the stars, I'm going to make them each $1. And there are 13 of them. And so I will go ahead and add $13 to this challenge. It'll be done. I didn't know how to mark it off. I didn't want to exit out. So I know that's done. That's 13. I will replace that with her February one. And hers are all different amounts for every single month. So I was able to choose the amount for this one. So it's only 13, but next time it's a set amount. So I like that. And then this one, I just, it's a whole packet and it has different things for every month. I got this one from the Budgeting Boy on Etsy, but it does remind me of a party. I do have a January birthday. My, um, not me, my daughter does. So this is a celebration month. It's a new beginning. So we're going to go ahead and save 60 in here. We'll put 60 in there, and that is another completed challenge. We will replace it with the February one, hearts of course, which I love. And when I'm picking out challenges, I do look at the size of the icons, and I try to think how much will I enjoy coloring it in, because I do like the coloring part. And then, so all we have left is 20. We won't be able to finish this one off for January, but we can do the 11 and the nine, which equals um, 20. And we will finish up, uh, we'll keep going the next time we do this. And then I did put some challenges. Oh, this challenge was from Maya and Co-Design off of Etsy. And then I did put some challenges back here just in case I ever have extra money. Um, I believe I got this one from Mandy. Um, budget with chuckles, but I'm not completely sure and I know I got this one from Saving with Paula. This was one of her freebies celebrating our win So and it's all low amounts So if I ever need like just something to fill in I will fill in those so we will start back again um, We completed one two three four five challenges today And we will go ahead and put that in the January slot and that's how we're going to do this. Um, and I know last time my minis was my um, giveaway video. And I thought might as well keep it going. I will do a giveaway every single month with my monthly giveaways. The word that you need to put in the... Um, in your comment is January. It will follow the month that we are in. I will probably forget to announce it. So if you're here, if you're on this journey with me and you remember and you put February in next month and I don't remember it, that is definitely, this is my giveaway um, video. So if you want to be entered, go ahead and leave the word January. And the prize will be um, the $25 to Amazon, Etsy, or whatever cash app you want. So that's um, how we're going to do it here. I thank you guys for being here. I'm excited. I can't wait to fill up my, um, <laughs> up my accordion folder. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.